You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? I want to know when I use squarees or roundies when we are doing inequalities. Now, if I had had something like x is greater than 3, this c is roundies. Maybe back in the day, boom, 3. Arrow shades that way, so you go that way. And then, boom, all right. I use roundies here. You may have been in the school where you used open dots and closed dots. Well, open dots are rounds. So then I found this is gonna be three to infinity. Now, when do I use square? Square. If I had something like this right here. Oh boy. If I had that three was smaller than or equal to x. Oh, I don't want to do that. Well, I don't know. The heart wants what it wants. So then I go, boom, wait for it. Wait for it. If I wanted to write an equivalent expression with x on the left, with x on the left, boom, that says three's over here and the alligator wants to eat x, so he still wants to eat x right there. Now what? Now, I can, I can, I can graph this on a number line. There's three and I see it goes to infinity. But is it round or is it square? It's square right there because of the or equals to. You may have been, you may have been, closed dots. Well, here we're using square and it cups, it cups the way you shade. So then here we see that's gonna be three to infinity. And then I'm never going to include infinity because I can never ever get there. Now, wait a minute. These are ordered intervals and you might come across this scenario. This is wrong. Uh, why? Because it's lowest on the left and highest on the right. Lowest on the left, highest on the right. We should write 3 to infinity because 3 is much, much smaller than infinity. So then it's closed there. Never include infinity. And that's when you use roundies and squarees. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time.